Good afternoon, Year 10. Okay, today's lesson, we're going to do equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So when you see the word parallel or perpendicular in a question, the first thing you do is find the gradient of that line. Then you go on and find the gradient of the parallel or perpendicular line. Make sure you do both of those steps. Then you will notice that in the question you will have a point on the line that you're required to find the equation of. So we're going to use the gradient that we find over here and the point that you've got and put them together in this formula here to find the equation of the line because that is the equation of the line formula. So the gradient will go in here, your point will go in here. Sometimes you will have the y-intercept as your point. So if that's the case, you can use this the gradient y-intercept form of a straight line, put your gradient in there, your y-intercept in there, and get your equation that way. They will be your only options. Okay, so we're going through this example here. It says find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 2x plus 9 and has a y-intercept of 4. So when you see the word parallel, just underline it in red, write find gradient up there. So that's the equation of the line they've given us. We're going to find the gradient of that line. And because it's already in this form, it's easy to see that the gradient is 2. Then you are going to find the gradient of the parallel line. So the gradient of the parallel line will also equal 2 because we know that on parallel lines they have the same gradient. I don't want you to skip that step. All right? If the gradient's the same, you've still got to restate it. And just write down that you also have a y-intercept given to you. So we're going to combine those two things to find the equation of the line. Make sure you put a heading there, equation of line, and then we're going to start using one of these two formulas, whichever is appropriate. So in this case, because we have the y-intercept, we can use this one. I'm going to put our gradient and our y-intercept straight into those spots, and that's your answer. If you want to rearrange that in general form, you can. Uh, that's up to you. The book may have that answer in general form, but you can turn that around yourself. All right, in the other question over here, find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 5 minus x over 2 and passes through minus 1, 6. So again, it's parallel, so we're going to find the gradient. So we're going to rearrange this line they gave us to find its gradient. So remember that if it's just an x, that's a 1x on the top. Slide out that 1 over 2, and that reads now as 5 minus a half x. If you swap these terms around, it's y equals minus half x plus 5. Just swapping those around on the same side. So no need to change any signs. Looking at this, you can see now that the gradient is minus a half. Restate. The gradient of the parallel line equals minus a half. Even if it's the same, it still needs to be stated separately. If I'm marking this, I'll be taking marks off if that's not written down separately. They also gave you a point up here of minus one six. We're going to take both of those things now, put a heading down equation of the line, and put both of those into this formula, the gradient one point formula for the equation of the line. So put your gradient in, put your one point in, and then keep going through as we were before to get your answer. I'll come back on the next video.